Okay, here I am on a, it's called Holtz Ridge, making my way south. That's north. <laughs> um, aside from a restaurant on the side of the trail called The Greenhouse, it has amazing pizza. And uh, the, the recharge and the pizza that I had there. I've actually been on the trail for more than a week, which is longer than the friggin' 100 mile wilderness. <laughs> So I am ready to get to Hanover, which is that way, but I'm still not even there. Tomorrow I gotta go 12 miles, and then I'll be there the day after. It's uh, it's beautiful colors. Um, I thought Musalik and the Kinsman Mountain really hard. <laughs> uh, my pack is overweight at like 40 to 50 pounds, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't keep up with any other southbound through hikers for that reason. My joints are all aching. I'm tired, exhausted, um, emotionally from all the stuff that, all the past that I'm carrying with me, uh, mentally for the same reason, and physically because of this damn friggin' pack. Um, <laughs> no, I love it, and I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for this hike. Um, over there, that's Smarts Mountain, and that is the last. 3,000 foot elevation that I I was up there last that's where I slept last night so we're having a good day made it this far <laughs> but it is winter up there you can kind of tell there are no no more colors at the top there it is you can't see the snow because it's all under the canopy the snow on the canopy is melted so it's wet and it's cold and there's some ice and there's some puddles and it's all ice cold water and it is just not a fun place to camp or hike at all I got hit by that blizzard two days ago, and my feet have not been dry since. I'm not trying to complain. <laughs> it's just, this has been maybe the toughest. All, you know, the presidentials and the other white mounds almost killed me. I don't know. It's at the, it's at the end of, of all that. So, I thought, and it was supposed to get easier after Musalik. And then the blizzard hit, so it did not get easier for me, for that reason. <laughs> so that, that, that really hurt my morale. But it's, um, it's really beautiful here, and I'm really thankful to be able to be immersed in this beauty and to be uh, hiking this despite the difficulty um, and the stress. Um, I mean, I'd, be ha I'd have that emotional and mental stress no matter where I was. Being out here, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing something good. I feel like... Um, where I'm supposed to be, um, the physical challenge. I'm I'm growing, and that's at least I think I am. I hope I am. I don't know. I think I'd be growing more without those stressors that really bring me down and zap my energy. But um, I'm thankful for what my body can do, and for my ability to take care of myself enough to the point that I'm able to do this at all. Um, in another two days. I'm gonna get to Hanover, and I um. <laughs> Another two days, I'm gonna get to Hanover. I'm gonna post some cool, awesome shots and keep singing my song of love, which, if it's being ignored or not, I don't know. Um, I don't know if people are seeing my love posts and still like face palming or you know just rooting for me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, and if I did, then I'd be able to make the right choice. Um, hopefully I'm making the right choice anyway. <laughs> um, I believe I am, given the circumstances. Anyway, almost through New Hampshire, thankful for the hike. So ready to rest. <laughs> Thanks.